Hello everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day and today I would like to share the first unboxing of 2023 and this is going to be something that is significantly different from other things that I've unboxed before on my little channel here. The unboxing knife is going to be the Bridgeport Knives 395, I believe that's the model. This thing is just freaking sick. Let's get into this. It's from Blade HQ, obviously, with their wonderful, wonderful tape. <clears throat> Packing peanuts galore. Let's uh, see if we can, you know, avoid making a mess. <laughs> I got a beanie. And I had to pay for this one. I didn't get the free one because I guess I uh, <clears throat> didn't meet the requirements of the free beanie thing that they had going on. Knife Life sticker, always good to get those guys. And here it is. I can get out of here, let me get this. Nothing else in there. <clears throat> it's a Kaiser. It's a big Kaiser box. You guys can probably figure out that this is going to be a fixed blade. I don't need my knife to open it. It's just a little sleeve, or maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Right. Ooh. Ah. Ta -da! <laughs> this thing is freaking cool. All right. <clears throat> so this is the Harpoon Mini, or the Mini Harpoon in 10V, and this is about everything I hoped it to be. Damn, that's good. Uh, I was scared that this was gonna be a little bit, uh, m like a little bit bigger. I was really hoping that it was gonna be a, a, a small knife, and yeah, this thing's pretty darn cool. So a little protector tip, trash that, <clears throat> and the sheath should be right under. I'm not a uh, fixed blade guy, so save your criticisms and possible negativity in the comments, because I just, I don't do fixed blades. I don't live in an area where, uh, you know, work is common, where you would need a heavy duty, super ultra robust fixed blade, but I wanted to check this out mainly because of the cool factor with the steel 10V. Um, I was told that this has a pretty interesting uh, coating on it. And yeah, this feels like uh, asphalt. <laughs> very, very fine asphalt. Oh, you guys can, oh, you, it's like a nail file. Check that out. That's cool. So Maverick Custom Designs, I believe uh, Stasa23, Knife Therapy, he's done multiple videos where this is displayed, he even has a custom, and uh, him speaking quite highly of this fixed blade design is really what pushed me to get it. Um, this I purchased on a second run, there was... Uh, a first run available at Blade HQ, I missed out. Um, I guess I just didn't have the funds at the time. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I guess I just didn't, oh geez. Ooh. I'm gonna freaking rip my own freaking pants off if I'm trying to take that out. Eh, maybe I'll loosen up over time. No, but like I was saying, I just missed out on the first drop. I never thought these would come back one day like I typically do, um, is go through all different retailers to check out if there's new stuff. Um, it's just become a habit of mine at this point. And uh, I saw that this was back in stock and I was like, shit, this is it. This is a sign. I need this in my life. That's cool. So I can move those around. I think this is called a tech lock. Not too sure, but you can just do different positions like scout carry, but I'm assuming your belt goes through there and you can possibly 
attach this to like a backpack if that's something that you're interested in. Um, you can also remove the whole thing and just have it as is. I'm surprised this doesn't come with a uh, the little neck on your thing, but that, the retention on the sheath is so strong, you'd probably just rip it off your own neck. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't really care for this thing. I know I'm gonna obviously need it, but if it'd be possible to get a slimmer pocket sheath for this thing, I think that's something that I would definitely be interested in. But yeah, that's cool. Micarta is very, very clean. This is the uh, black Micarta variant. Um, it's not that rich. It um, looks like it was just lightly, you know, left to, um, you know, get saturated with the color, which I'm, I'm happy for that because I do plan to dip this into some uh, some teal to just get that like dark with a little bit of teal popping through. So I'll probably dip it in some black for a second and see if I could make it a little bit deeper and then uh, do some teal. <clears throat> you guys are probably gonna see me do a review on this uh, in a significantly shorter amount of time than I typically do because there's no action, there's no like bearings or detent or anything that I typically would uh, critique on other knives in my collection. Um, Cause this is, I mean, it's just a little fixed blade, but I'm mainly gonna be probably just talking about actually in use and really talking about this coating on here. I don't know squat about it. If anybody out there knows about this coating, any benefits, anything that would be interesting, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments. Uh, of course, I'll definitely do my own research, but I love hearing you guys' thoughts and opinions. If you guys have this, if you guys have the full size version, because this is the mini, um, let me know what you like about it. Let me know if you think it's ugly as hell. Um, you know, let me know if you got on the first run of it and how it's been so far, or if you guys know anybody that um, is capable of doing any custom sheaths, um, preferably a you know softer Kydex, not like the super, super thick, heavy duty stuff, something that's a little bit more, um, you know, discreet in EDC. So yeah, but that is pretty much it. If you guys like what you see here and you are interested in other videos that uh, you know, I'll be putting out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Definitely appreciate that. And with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day.